happy to uh, deliver this uh, invited talk. Uh, let me start my talk by thanking the organizers of uh, LiasCon uh, uh, 2020 for uh, giving me this opportunity, uh, specifically to uh, Dr. Kunur and the conference director, uh, Professor Sri Kumar, and the plenary chair, uh, Prakash. Uh, I'm going to talk on the repositioning access to the information resources in the digital era and transition to becoming knowledge managers. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to uh, one of the greatest sons of uh, this country, uh, Ranganathan, whom many of us consider as father of uh, library and information science in this country. See, we talk about this transition of data, uh, be it structured, unstructured or semi-structured, becoming information, you know, in terms of understanding relation between the data and then becomes knowledge when you analyze and understand the patterns among the information. This data information knowledge is being talked about for quite some time. But I would like to add another component to this that I'm calling it as understanding principles and act accordingly, which I'm calling it as a wisdom. And that is what is an important component we have to add. Well, information management is a mixture of uh, people, processes, and tools. And these mix these with the purpose of making information available to the seeker. Now, we are in a period of transition. And what is the transition we are going through? Means and ways by which information is communicated, transmitted, accessed, and used. The information itself is going through a transition from print form to digital form. And the scholarly literature, which most of us handle, has now getting a transition in terms of newer facets are getting added. And more importantly, it is going through an exponential growth. Of course, the users, which are also going through a transition, it is we're going to handle the millennial generation who are web savvy and also very impatient. And the challenge is to handle this transition. And what are the challenges? One is to make the ease of access, that is with one user ID across the platforms, and that is to enhance the user satisfaction. So can we develop a single sign-on for users across the platforms? And representing, storing, and retrieving information, particularly if originally the information that was in the print form and operationally managing large collections. So, so the question of issue of scale is also a challenge to us. And the data is going to be unstructured. Uh, can we have a single query to retrieve information from different databases? That is developing a federated gateway. And the large number of associated issues are arising because the information is available in the digital form. Plagiarism is a thing which we have to really worry about it and monitoring the usage of the resources, copyright issues, and the surveillance. I think how the users are accessing information without violating many of these fundamental issues of plagiarism or copyright issues are there. I know all of us, all the students of library information uh, sciences would say this is what should seem to be the heart of library. You procure, you process them, you circulation, put them to circulation and do periodic maintenance. If it is books or journals, then you classify them and catalog them. But in the period of transition where books are becoming from print to ebooks, the journals are from the getting the print volumes to online. And what is happening to us is that we are moving in terms of becoming dependent on digital resources and technologies. The challenge is making content available, conversion to digital if the information is in the print form, and content creation in the digital form itself is going to be added to the our requirements. And then more importantly, you aggregate the computing resources into servers instead of spreading them around the clients. That means you have all the resources in a server and then give access to the users on the clients, thin client servers. So centralization, consolidation, and virtualization is what is going to be the way forward for making information resources accessible. And then since so much of information is becoming available, so we need to develop subject specific gateways that is selective information resource compilation and use the web crawlers to update the content using keywords, links to full text wherever subscribed. And in a way, we have to become a reference managers, provide support and guidance in utilizing the specialized databases. You specialize in databases, be Scopus, Web of Science, 
Google Scholar, or specialize in abstracting services like SciFinder, bring awareness about newer facets of information that is Pete ResearchGate, Academia, or whatever, I think. So essentially, what you have to do is what librarians used to do for print resources now you have to transform to do it to online information resources and this change you have to make there's a paper appeared in nature uh, way back in 2014 it is just to list down i just picked up two graphs from that the research work just see what type of sources that are becoming available be it google scholar research kit linkedin facebook google plus twitter research writing and this is the survey done from the people from science and engineering background and you can see google scholar seem to be the person the one most used and you can see the blue color is coming down and indicating that uh, at, but then what is worrying to me is that the number of people being aware about researcher id or archid id seem to be less that is a worrying thing and that is where we need to educate so this is the the information on science and engineering but then when you go to social sciences arts and humanities while while google scholar continues to be one of the ones most preferred but very interestingly the facebook has seemed to be the one which is being used by social scientists and arts and humanities and these subtle changes that are happening when you go from one domain of research to the other domain need to be factored into be aware of it so that when you talk you should talk to the user accordingly then what are the challenges for the workforce our goal is to provide access to information now use the technological advances to deal with the digitization and also to realize newer platforms put to effective use the advances in information technology you have to manage knowledge information data revolution which i added wisdom as a component to this transition this revolution essentially all these transitions are making allies professionals to be on their toes uh, continuously upgrade their skills and to be and so that they can they continue to be relevant so librarians it has to be make a transition to become a technocrats in this google generation because we need to, to make this transition to ensure to continue to provide information access and play our roles are there well does it mean that the traditional skills are not relevant i would say still they are relevant very relevant and we need to reorient because we continue to work in the hybrid environment the print resources that are available in your library would continue to be available so you need to handle the print resources and the resource in the print form and the digital resources that are becoming available so we need to evolve a new model for facilitating acquisition and exposition of different skill sets to the people so make available the resources for in fact i would say that one change the library information science time researchers should do is that can we make library libraries or information resource centers as a places where scientific meeting and training programs can be conducted you know from the era where librarians are to say silence to librarians to facilitate discussions and of course you need to earmark a separate place for it but i think this can be to continue to be relevant maybe this transition would happen and importantly provide platform for human resource development in the area of information science training opportunities to the students those who are pursuing their library and information science in studies or researchers in information science or the librarians and of course encouragement and appreciation is what one would always look for well this is one picture which i'm very fond of showing in all my talks you all must have known about it why i'm showing this here is that the type of amount of information amount of methods of accessing information and the quantum of information is becoming so large that you tend to look or tend to access part of it and you may be tempted to think that is all what is the information is all about and that's where the information scientist and library information science professional would play a role to show the rest of the information that is available and that is relevant to understand this and that role is what you need to to play and in order to play that role you need to ensure that you are having those skill sets